Now that the holidays are over, there are still months of cold, dark winter. Spending short periods of time outside just enduring the weather can be miserable and intimidate you into avoiding the outdoors. Even for those who are experienced in winter camping and enjoy being in the woods in sub-freezing temperatures, the thought of hiding inside to wait out the cold is tempting. Shake it off! Don't be winter's little bitch! Grab winter by the balls, let's go! Not today, Winter. Not today. Since last winter, I developed Renault's Syndrome, a condition where even the coolest temperatures quickly make my fingers numb and yellow and it takes sustained heat, usually 30 minutes, to bring them back. This was probably caused by a couple bouts with frostbite on my fingers that was totally preventable and caused by me being impatient and overexposing my fingers to cold while camping when I didn't need to. That new situation had me wondering whether I should be winter camping. When you have a doubt, you can be passive and wonder, or you can actively resolve that doubt. Can I still enjoy and safely camp in cold temperatures? Temperatures are going to drop below zero degrees tonight and it's time for me to regain my confidence. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It's already dark out, got a late start. Snowing out. It's probably about five degrees. It's supposed to drop to about 10 below tonight. Finally got everything set up. In the winter, it's a lot of work. You can see here, I have my hammock set up with my war bonnet. Uh, rain fly. Under here, you see I have uh, my hammock along with my uh, cover on here. Underneath, I have my pulk and my bag covered up here uh, because there's snow all over. Just trying to get in my bag, just trying to keep everything dry, which isn't usually a problem when it's this uh, cold out. But the work isn't done yet. I plan to come out and build a campfire right away in order to keep my hands warm while I was setting up, but I was super hot while I was hiking in and setting up, so my hands were fine, but as I'm starting to be less active, my hands are starting to get cold. But I got work to do. You can see my picnic table here is covered in snow, probably about six, eight inches on there. Got some hot chocolate in my food bag, all sorts of stuff down here. Current stage of my fire pit is covered with snow. Gotta dig up, gotta get that campfire going. Got to keep my hands warm. Got my fire going, warming the fingers up. Still snowing a little bit, just beautiful out here. You know, the other way to stay warm, other than by the fire, is making sure that you have lots of warm liquids and lots of hot food and calories in your body. I decided to 
time to break open the hot chocolate. And uh, brought some peppermint schnapps to put in there with it. If you ask yourself why you want to go camping all by yourself when it's zero degrees outside and it's dark from 4.30 till 8 o'clock in the morning, well, this is it. No bugs. Beautiful out here with the snow coming down. Got my nice campfire. A little time to myself. All right, first dinner tonight is going to be some spicy ramen. I have my water down here. Oh, not quite boiling yet, but it's very hot. And then second dinner tonight will be a nice ribeye right over the fire. Morning. Stayed nice and warm last night. Should have vented my spin drift a little bit more. Kind of frosty in here. It's about negative 10. Nice and warm in here. It's hard to get myself motivated to get out of the hammock this morning when it's that cold out, but gotta get rolling here. Hmm. When it's this cold out, I need to be smarter. I need to be more patient. It took me a while to get these mucklucks laced up, get my overalls on, and by that time my hands were numb and uh, they were getting really cold. So I'm taking a little break here. I have these new heated mittens that I have on and I can feel them warming up. I'm gonna get my fingers nice and warm gonna pull on uh, my boreal anorak over the top here after I can feel my fingers a little bit more and then uh, I'm gonna go build my fire and I need to take more breaks when I'm tearing down my hammock uh, you know I knew I was gonna stay warm uh, when I was sleeping when I'm active but it's really that setup and takedown where I can't have gloves on because I need to use my fingers, then I'm gonna to need to take more breaks because that's when I got frostbite before. You know, it may mean working for three or four minutes, taking a break for 10 minutes, working for three minutes, taking a break for 10 minutes. I just need to be patient and be smart. Just 
getting nice and warm here. Having some hot chocolate from uh, my thermos that I made last night, along with some cookies here. Gonna rest here, then I gotta go take down the hammock. Well, I think it was mission accomplished for this trip. Came out here to kind of get out of that rut, not being apprehensive about getting out in the cold. Came out, super cold weather, stayed warm. You know, it's all about being smarter and not just working harder. Uh, for this trip, I packed my hammock, my underquilt, and my spindrift cover I packed it all up together. So when I got out here, I didn't have to have my gloves off for quite as long. Where it was all set up, all I had to do was hang it up, put my top quilts in, put my rain fly on, and it really minimized that time of having my bare hands out here in the cold. Some other things that I learned on this trip, these heated gloves, heated mittens, work real well. Um, I'm going to do a full review on these probably in a couple weeks after I get a little bit more time using them. Uh, of course, when you're wearing a mitten or a glove, there's a lot of things that you can't do. Uh, what else worked out well? Um, uh, you've probably seen this thing before. It's a double layer, uh, Reflectix with my one liter of water in here left that out all night and it's still water so I'm gonna finish getting all packed up I'm gonna extinguish my fire here I'll pack some more snow on here before I go so it's completely out but uh, looking forward to a nice nice uh, walk out here along the St. Croix River. It's going to be beautiful. Hey, thanks for coming along on this trip. I think I regained my winter camping mojo. Not afraid of old man winter. I have a couple more winter camping trips. I have a frozen butt hang coming up here in a couple weeks. And I have my deep winter camping where we're always hoping for it to be 40, 50 below uh, in about a month or so. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe, punch that bell notification, check me out on Instagram and Facebook. <coughs> we'll see you out on the trail. <laughs>